Well, why are you not here? Yeah. How often do I have to say that? Huh? How often? Huh? How often do I have to say that? I'm not in the mood. Huh? I mean, you can't wait for five minutes or ten minutes. Just sit there. You need to, to talk down there. And then somebody gives alarm. What kind of attitude is this? Huh? And it's not the first time I talk about it. Did I make a mistake with you? Huh? Play with me, corrupt, not you, Huh? Yeah. Play with me, I don't have to be here. Huh? Yeah. Play with Look for another Achan, you know, that you really respect, yeah? Where, where are the Michis and, and the Pak House there, huh? What kind of attitude is this, huh? Ask yourself. <clears throat> I don't understand it. Everything on the last, on the last minute, on the last second, yeah? <clears throat> we can't wait, you know, that... that actually shows you, you know, the state of your chitta. Hmm? Completely restless. Instead of using the time here, yeah, before I come, yeah, sit down ten, ten minutes before five and sit down and, and practice. No, instead of, you know, practicing, you know, the, the wait down, down there, you know, and, and talk and talk and talk. Meditation yeah, or practice. It's our work. Hmm? It's our number one priority. That's why we ordained, yeah? I, I, really, I don't know why you ordained. Maybe because of this nice kind of life that we don't have to work, that we don't have to worry about all these things, you know, that are going on in the world. Yeah? <clears throat> Maybe that was the reason. But actually our reason to, to ordain should be, you know, to to find the path out of Dukkha, huh? or out of samsara, huh? or what I call it, you know, the hamster wheel. Huh? Running, 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 not going anywhere. <clears throat> we are born and then we die, we are born and then we die, we are born and then we die. Yeah? Sometimes we are born as a human being, sometimes as an animal. Huh? We are not born in the other realms, in the other what is it, 29 realms? We just appear and disappear, appear and disappear, born and die, appear and disappear. Hmm? That's what you like, yeah? When you don't need to ordain as a monk. <clears throat> you put, put a little bit more effort in your practice, yeah? And be, get your priorities stay straight. Hmm? Our priority is, yeah, I mean, from the moment we wake up, yeah, till the, the moment we go to sleep, is to be with our Buddha or with the, with the object of investigation. That is our work, yeah. No matter if we walk Chankram, no matter if we sit or no, no matter if we stand, yeah, we should always be. Even when we do, you know, when we sweep, we should be with the Buddha, or we should be with our breath, or we should be with the object of investigation, and not let the mind go out. Otherwise, how can we ever attain samadhi? Huh? How can we ever see huh? <clears throat> that there is actually, you know, within our abilities, there is a state of mind where we are free of dukkha? Huh? How can we see that? Huh? 
if you don't practice, huh? if you constantly get distracted by this or distracted by that, worried about this, worried about that. Yeah, get your priorities straight. Hmm? Stay, yeah, I mean, determine the moment you wake up, determine I want to stay with the Buddha. Yeah? Or I want to, you know, stay, stay with the breath. Or I want to stay with my object of investigation. Yeah? And after three or four hours, you know, change, change the object, yeah? object of investigation or change the object of samatha, yeah? or calm meditation. You let it, don't go into these thoughts. Yeah? I mean, as, as much as, you know, as much as you think they are entertainment, they're actually they are a distraction. People are afraid. And that's something, that's something we need to understand. You know, we are Buddhists, yeah? <clears throat> we are born, yeah? and soon or later we will die. And this is something that we really have to get <clears throat> drive into our heart, yeah? this point, we have to get this point really clear. We are born, sooner or later we will die. And that has nothing to do yeah, with what this person say or that person say, yeah? <clears throat> what the doctor said, yeah? or what, 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 what the WHO say or what the CDC say, you know, I mean, we are not dying because of COVID. We are not dying because of <clears throat> of cancer, we are not dying because of heart attack, yeah, or lung disease or whatever. Yeah? We are dying only because of one reason, and this is something that we really have to drive down. We have to drive home, yeah. And one time is not enough. Twice is not enough. Three times is not enough. We really have to listen to that more often. We are dying because of our karma is exhausted. Yeah? It, is, it has expired. Hmm? <clears throat> we have expired. And this is the only reason why we die. Yeah? We are born because of our karma. We are born as a human being because of our karma. And then we have a certain amount of time yeah, for our development or for most people for their entertainment. And after the time has run out, we are going to die. I mean, is that so difficult to understand? Hmm? I mean, the fear of death, hmm? if, if we are really afraid of death, or if you are really afraid of death, then, then the only solution to this is, you shouldn't be born. If you find, if you find the way to the deathless, we are not, we are not dying anymore. Being this this fear and this fear mongering that that <clears throat> is all over the world, yeah, and that's why why this panic is created. Yeah, panic is always created because of fear. Yeah? You're afraid of something, yeah? and the people say, yes, 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 you will die, you will die, you will die. Yeah, of course we will die, huh? There's no question to it. When we are born, we will die. Yeah? So how can somebody make us afraid of that? <clears throat> we, should, we should really trust in the teaching of the Lord Buddha. He said, you know, I mean, who, somebody who has in his last life not harmed any living being will have a long life, no matter what. Yeah? No matter what the situation Maybe he's in, he's in war times, but he will survive. Maybe he's, you know, maybe he's even in the Black Death, you know. I mean, it, not all people died in the, pla in the period of the Black Death, yeah? Or not all people died in the, in the, when the Spanish flu was there, yeah? Not all people died in the First World War or Second World War. Some people died, yeah? Because their karma was exhausted, because they expired. That's it, yeah? That's the only reason why we die, because our karma is exhausted. And we have to drive this point home, hmm? every time. Hmm? And for this life, you know, I mean, we have to be very careful of creating good karma, so that in the next life we have a longer life. Hmm? 
so that we don't harm other people. Yeah? And then we, that we don't go against the five precepts. Yeah? The five precepts are very important. Yeah? Because if we don't keep the five precepts, we lose, our, we lose our right to become a human being again. <clears throat> this is something, you know, as, as Buddhists, we really should understand that, you know. I mean, there is no need for this fear. Because when we are afraid, you know, we do actually the wrong things. Yeah? We go the wrong path. Yeah? <clears throat> we, we, can't clear, we can't think clearly. Yeah? We can't assess the situation. Yeah? What is going on? When was it yesterday? You know, the doctor came. Yeah, I mean, well, what, what are the people dying of? Yeah, this disease, that disease. Yeah, maybe, maybe Parkinson, maybe, <clears throat> maybe heart attack, maybe cancer, maybe pneumonia, maybe flu, maybe COVID. Yeah, I mean, there are so many reasons why we can die. Or oh, multiple organ failures, or something like that. Or we can die in a car crash, or we can die in an airplane crash, or we can die, you know, shot, you know, shot to death, and so on, and so on. Or hit by a bomb, or hit by a drone strike, and so on. Yeah? We can die a lot of things. Yeah? But we should not be afraid yeah, of death, because, you know, with birth comes death. And that is something, you know, this, this is something that we really have to understand. And we only will die, you know, when our karma is exhausted. We won't die before. Yeah? So why should we be afraid? Hmm? <clears throat> and even, you know, even if we die, then we will reappear in, in, in another realm. Hmm? Well, for most of the people, you know, who are really afraid of death, you know, they have a lot of bad, th done, done a lot of bad things in their life. That's why they are afraid. They have not kept the precepts. Hmm? They have not kept the five precepts. Not harming any living being, the first one. Not taking what is not given, yeah? the second one. No sexual misconduct, the third one. No lies, no harsh speech and that hurts other people, the fourth one. No alcohol, no drugs, it's the fifth one. If we do not keep these five precepts, hmm, then, of course, we, go, we will go down. We will go down either in the animal realm or ghost realms, or most of us will go down to the hell realm. And this is something that, this is the law, you know, this is the law of the universe, and we should start to believe it. And we should start from today on, you know, I mean, keep the five precepts so that sooner or later, <clears throat> once our karma in hell has expired, because it expires there as well, yeah? it, it is exhausted. We will go for a certain time, you know, to hell, and then the karma of that brings us to hell, you know, will be exhausted, and then we come back. Yeah? We come back as a ghost, and then we come back as a human being. Yeah? And then we can do enough good and bad karma, you know, to, to spend the next, <clears throat> next hundred or next thousand years, you know, of our life in heaven or hell. Yeah? And that depends on our action. And this is something that we should make ourselves clear. When we are born as a human being, and there are only two realms, you know, where we are born, where we need to educate this body, and where we slowly die, we are not just appearing and, and disappearing, we are born and we will die, yeah? And so it is a, quite a difficult realm hmm, for us. Hmm? The human realm and the animal realm. That's where, that's where beings are born and then they will die. Yeah? In the other realms, in the 29 other realms, the people just appear and disappear, yeah? So there is no death and there is no birth. Yeah? It is only in the human realm. And if you are worried about what comes next, you know, I mean, we shouldn't worry. Yeah? I mean, if you are good people, you know, if you have, if you have lots of good karma, I mean, these people normally don't worry about that. Yeah? It will come, you know, and they will normally go to a good destination. But people who have done a lot of evil, you know, of course will go to a bad destination. And the closer the death comes, you know, the more they are afraid. <clears throat> but but we, should re we should really rely, on, you know, on, 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 this <clears throat> on this saying, yeah? Don't do unto others what you don't want to do unto others to do unto you. For whatever happening right now is what we have done unto others. Yeah? 
Get it, get it straight. Hmm? So, I mean, whenever before you open your mouth, yeah, eh, ask yourself, do you, want, do, you, do you want to hear that, what you have to say to others? Eh? <clears throat> whenever you do something, you know, eh, think about it or reflect about it, you know, is that something that you want other people to do unto you? Eh? And that is that, yeah, but we need sati, yeah? and sati is, is not, you know, it's... <clears throat> It's not there most of the time. We don't have this sati, we don't have this power of reflection. We don't actually have this, yeah? This is what you call a human being, a human being, a wise human being, homo sapiens, yeah? A wise, a wise human, yeah? That reflects about what he is doing. Yeah? He knows what he is doing, yeah? And he reflects about what he is doing and he evaluates the outcome of his doing. That's what is called a homo sapiens. But we are just robots, yeah? Robots, yeah, driven, yeah, driven by fear, driven by this, driven by that, driven by greed, driven by hate, yeah? That's what, yeah, that is not, that's not a human being. So reflect about karma. Kama, yeah? Whatever we sow, that is what we reap. The short sow. Yeah? <clears throat> and whatever we reap, is that what we have sown? Yeah? I mean, this is something, yeah? And the Lord Buddha also said, you know, we should reflect about death daily. Daily reflect about death. Yeah? It's a transition, just like a transition, just like we go to sleep. We don't know if we wake up, yeah, in what kind of state we wake up. Maybe we wake up as a ghost, you know, or maybe we wake up as a, as a deva, or maybe we wake up in the, in the hell realm. We don't know when we go to sleep. Yeah? Every day is a new day, yeah. And actually, when we are born again, you can say that. Hmm? <clears throat> So what, what to be afraid of death? It's a transition from one state of existence to another ex state of existence. But of course, if people don't believe into the next life, yeah, or into rebirth, then they have big troubles, yeah? Then they think this is their only life, yeah? And they need to do the, yeah, to get the utmost excitement out of this life, yeah? Not considering other people, just considering themselves, just seeing themselves as the primary, object, hmm? their own self-satisfaction. And that's where, we, where everything goes wrong. We should reflect about it. We are human beings, yeah? we are all beings, yeah? and we all belong together. Hmm? <coughs> and we should not harm each other. Hmm? And we should not take things that are not given. Hmm? And especially, you know, we, we, should not, we should be faithful to the people that we are married or... or <coughs> have a friendship with, yeah? And we shouldn't tell lies, yeah? And we shouldn't drink anything, drink alcohol or, or take intoxicants yeah? <clears throat> that, that alter the state of mind and we are, we are not any more mindful. Yeah? These are the five precepts. Yeah? We should keep them. Once we keep them, we, we, what should we be afraid of? Huh? Even if we die, then we come back as a human being. The minimum, yeah? But if we want to find a way out, if we want to find the way to the deathless, yeah? then, then we have to go the fourth noble truth. Yeah? The first noble truth is that of Dukkha. Yeah? Dukkha. There is Dukkha. Yeah? Every one of us has Dukkha. Has bodily Dukkha. Yeah? Yeah, we don't even notice this bodily Dukkha. Because, I mean, we instantly, you know, change things, you know, when we, when we wake up, yeah? <clears throat> we have this dukkha, you know, because we don't want to get up. You know? we, we are hungry, we have this dukkha of hunger, yeah, and we instantly eat something. You know? We are thirsty, we instantly drink something. It's all dukkha. You know? When we are tired, you know, we, we go to sleep. That's what we know, I mean, but we're so, we are so accustomed to it, so we don't even notice these kind of dukkha. This is just the bodily dukkha. The, the mental dukkha is much harder. If somebody says something that we don't like to hear, you know, ah, this is, this is really hurting us. Yeah? 
If people, you know, scolding us, that it's really hurting us. It hurt, it's hurting our ego. Hmm? <clears throat> if, if we want something, you know, and we don't get something, there's lots of dukkha. Yeah? If we want to get rid of something and we can't get rid of it, it's lots of dukkha. Yeah? So, this is the mental dukkha. Yeah? And the, the, the second noble truth tells, tells us why, why, there is, why, why there is dukkha. Why do we have dukkha? Because we want. We constantly desire something. And, uh, and every one of us, you know, when the moment he comes out of samadhi, you know, he notices, you know, he wants, he wants this or he wants that, he wants to do this, he wants to move or he doesn't want to move, he wants to drink or doesn't want to drink, and he wants to see this person or he doesn't want to see this person, and constantly. Wanting or not wanting, yeah, that creates a stukha. Yeah? Wanting to be, or even some people don't want to be, yeah? they want to disappear. Yeah? <clears throat> this is all dukkha. Yeah? And if you, if you don't understand this truth, yeah, this truth of dukkha, you know, really, really deeply, yeah? then we, we, don't, we, don't find, we don't look for a way out, yeah? out of this dukkha. Yeah? <clears throat> The third noble truth just tells us, you know, there is an end of dukkha. And the fourth noble truth is that why we are here and practicing. We're practicing, practicing, you know, the fourth noble truth of sila. Yeah? I just explained it, the five precepts. I explained it actually twice, yeah? just to drive, drive, down, uh, drive the point home. Yeah? The precept, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then samadhi. And samadhi is that where we have most of our difficulties because the mind doesn't want to stop thinking. Yeah? And we have to stop thinking, one way or the other. And in order to stop thinking, in order, in order not to let, you know, the memories coming up that constantly disturb us, just like the thoughts, we have to use a <clears throat> sort of mantra, yeah? We have to use either, you know, the, the mental repetition of the word putto or the attention on the breath, knowing that the breath is going in, knowing that the breath is going on, going out, yeah? knowing that the breath is deep, knowing that the breath is shallow. That is what we have to know. We are constantly, when the mind goes out, we constantly have to return back. Yeah? And that's where we have to put our effort in, in returning the mind back to the Buddha. And we don't want that because, I mean, it's so tedious. Yeah? And that's where we fail. That's where we fail to enter samadhi. Otherwise, it would be very easy to, to enter samadhi. We just, you, you, <clears throat> we just are with, with the Buddha, 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 and then enter samadhi. Yeah? But, yeah, I mean, these, these constantly thoughts that are thrown into, you know, just like <clears throat> somebody, you know, when we're running along a path, you know, I mean, somebody constantly throws a stick so that, it's stuck, that we stumble. Yeah? And the one who throws us these, these sticks, you know, between our legs, you know, to, for us to stumble, are the kilesas who bring up these thoughts and bring up these memories. Mm -hmm. So we have to quell it, you know, we have to, to find, we have to find some effort, mm -hmm. or develop some effort and some <coughs> persistence, you know, in staying with the Buddha. Mm -hmm. And we determine that in the beginning, in the, in the moment, you know, we wake up, yeah? So, Today yeah, is the day of sati. Yeah? Today is the day where I want to stay with the Buddha, or with the breath, or with an object of investigation. That's what I determine, yeah? and then I stick to it. Hmm? And whenever a thought comes in, oh, no, don't, yeah? not interested, not interested, you know, I go back to the Buddha, or go back to the breath, or go back to the object of investigation. That's how we can make our mind calm. And when the mind is calm, when there is no more thoughts and there is no more <clears throat> memories coming up, then we are, yeah, we are happy, yeah? or we are peaceful, or we are at peace, or we are just still, or whatever you call it. Yeah? But there is no future and there is no past. There is just this present moment. And there is no wanting. And that's where we see the second noble truth very clearly. The moment we want something, you know, that's where the dukkha comes in. Hmm? And then in this state of samadhi, we don't want anything. Please do understand this. Yeah? And please, yeah, do understand also, you know, about death. 
death is in the moment we are born, you know, death is always yeah, awaiting us. Yeah? Isn't there a book, you know, called uh, Death Always, always Awaiting Us? Yeah? <clears throat> we just don't know when it comes. Yeah? And then the third, then the third thing, you know, that, that actually, you know, gets rid of the kilesas is the investigation. Is the investigation of the, of the things that we long for, yeah? Or that we attach to. Or that we think that, that are me or mine or us, yeah? And that is the body, yeah? That is thoughts, yeah? Memories, yeah? These are the feelings, you know, and it is consciousness. These are the things that we believe, yeah? And when we look at how we define ourselves, it is all within the realms of these five khandhas. So we have to investigate them, see them for anicca, anatta, dukkha. See them for impermanent. Whatever arises will cease. If a thought comes, you know, it will cease. Eh? <clears throat> If a memory comes, it will cease. If a feeling comes up, you know, it will cease. They all come and cease, yeah? And it has nothing to do with them. This is something we should really understand, and we should use these three principles. And then investigate the five khandhas. Eh? Together with these five, with these three principles, you know, or investigating for what they are, really are. What is the body? You know, the first investigation, what is the body? Well, probably the first investigation investigation we are doing is to Kaveda now. It's a painful feeling when we sit for a long time. When we sit for one hour, two hours or three hours, you know, then the pain is coming in. So in we, we investigate what is pain. <clears throat> I talk all, often about it. So, are there any questions? Right, time and up my You, two or like? One. One. Oh. Bin alai? Bin du ala? Le, uh, tam tau. Bit mai? Time and up, my. What am I? Pay ya, my polo. Ya kit me, ya kit known, huh? Nya. Quang kit, like quang cham tikun ma, tam hai rau my son, huh? Nya. Nya. You come on, can na? อยู่กับความคิดนะมันอยู่ตั้งแต่เกิดมาอยากอยู่กับความคิดนะมันซ้ำกันซ้ำกันเที่ยวนี้ต้องคิดเรื่องนี้เที่ยวนี้ต้องคิดเรื่องนี้ซ้ำกันนี้ซ้ำกันนู่นซ้ำกันนั่นเลยทำให้ใจไม่สงบมันก็เห็นนะดูมันไม่ใช่เรานะความคิดไม่ใช่เราฮะใช่ใช่อันนี้จะอันนัตตาอันนัตตาไม่ใช่เราไม่ใช่ของเราฮะมองอะไรก็ไม่ใช่เราฮะรู้อะไรก็ไม่ใช่เราใครเป็นคนรู้นะต้องต้องใช้ต้องใช้วิธีวิธีนี้นะอันนี้จะเรื่องอนัตตาเรื่องทุกทุกข์นะมันทุกนะคิดเรื่องนี้ก็เป็นทุกคิดเรื่องโน่นก็เป็นทุกนะเมื่อใช้มันสงบจริงจริงก็มันไม่มีทุกฮะมันเคยเข้าอยู่สมาธิใช่ไหมฮะอืมนะมันก็รู้นะนะเมื่อเข้าสู่สมาธิก็มันสบายนะออกจากสมาธิก็ไม่สบายฮะแล้วทำไมเดียวนี้ทำเขาต้องทำไมเดียวนี้ต้องของเราก็ต้องคิดเรื่องนี้คิดเรื่องนู่นคิดเรื่องนั้นมันห่วงนะห่วงเรื่องอะไรนะจิ๋วจะห่วงเรื่องงานก็ตกตกงานฮะมันไม่เป็นไรก็มีมีมีโอ้ยโลกนี้ก็เปิดกว้างๆนะ
ทำอะไรก็ได้อยู่ที่วัดมันก็สบายเมื่อมีความคิดขึ้นมานะโอเคก็ออกชักวัดนะเล่งทำงานนี่ทุกคนทำงานนู่นเมื่อไม่มีงานทำก็ก็ไปที่วัดถึงมีงานทำฮะอยู่ฮะมันจะห่วงเรื่องอะไรห่วงเรื่องญาติก็ยอมก็ก็ลูกก็ล้านก็อะไรโอ้ยพยายามหน่อยนะอยู่อยู่พรุ่งนี้จะออกแล้วนะคนนี้ด้วยเหรอก็ยายเจ้าค่ะดูดูก่อนอ่ะโอเคอยู่ต่อไปมีคำถามไหมออนออนฮะวันวันมีคำถามไหมมีคำถามฮะฟังยังไม่ได้รู้เท่าไหร่ฟังยังไม่รู้เท่าไหร่ก็ฟังอ๋อก็ตอนเช้าก็ไม่ได้ฟังเหรอฟังก็ฟังเมื่อวันก็ไม่ฟังเหรอไม่เข้าใจเหรอมันก็ต้องฟังไปบ่อยนะอยู่นะต้องฟังไปบ่อยจะเข้าใจนะแล้วก็เหมือนมันฝรั่งนะอ๋อก็ฟังฟังครั้งแรกก็มันไม่เข้าใจเท่าไหร่นะฟังครั้งที่สองก็เข้าใจมากขึ้นมากขึ้นมากขึ้นสุดท้ายก็เข้าใจไรไม่รู้จักเบื่อรู้จักแต่โมโหแต่เบื่อก็ไม่รู้จักโอเคไหนสองคนภาวนาบ้างไหมอืมนะคะดี